Hello everybody, you guys know what time it is, okay? New season, we've got a little new in spring clothing haul. I have been doing some shopping. I wanted to do a good creep of the, the trend, seeing what's hot and what's new, and add a few staple bits into my wardrobe for the upcoming season, give it a little spruce up, and I found some really amazing pieces I'm super excited to show you. And as always, like, I'm a pretty plain gal when it comes to my dressing. I do love to keep my same neutral staple pieces rocking around, but it's also really fun to be inspired by new trends and see if you can incorporate them into your wardrobe long-term. So there has been a few like <coughs> maxi skirts <coughs> trends that I've been obsessed with and wanted to add into my wardrobe, absolutely. So lots of fun pieces here. Would love to hear from you in the comments down below what pieces you are loving, what trends you're loving, if any at all for the spring. And I'll show you some fun new in bits that I've added to my wardrobe. First of all, uh, this vest is actually no, this is not technically a part of this. Um, I didn't buy this. This was a lovely little gifted vest from Everlane. So Everlane, thank you so much. Love the color. I think it goes really nicely with my, my current fresh dark dew. <laughs> so that is also technically a new one, but let's actually start with the dress because I technically already showed this, but I got this beautiful new in slip dress from H&M. And I've not previously been the most into slip dresses, but what I loved about this one in particular is that it has these little ruching details on the boobs. And if you have <laughs> very small boobs, sometimes these slip dresses that just lay flat can be a little bit awkward. I don't know. I just felt like this was a really nice feminine touch to the boob area, as well as if you have, you know, bigger tutus, it can just cup that nicely. So it's got the lace on the top. It's also got the lace on the bottom. And I thought this would be so beautiful on its own for the spring and summer, uh, but also layered up with my black blazer and boots. Like this is a piece that can be worn all year round. And I did recently wear a very similar outfit to this with my black slip dress. And I thought this was just such a fun, like nice brighter shade to add in for the new season and a gorgeous, gorgeous piece from H&M. It also has a really beautiful like long string at the back. I got this one in a size small. I need to take, <laughs> let me just make that official real quick. Anyway, yeah, love this piece from H&M and I'm very much continuing to be very into dresses. Next up from H&M, I got this adorable, adorable little tube top. How cute is this? Oh my gosh, I just, I'm going to live in this, I can tell you right now, mark my words. I'm gonna be living in this for spring and summer. I love that it has that nautical kind of vibe theme with the stripes, it's black stripes, so it's gonna go with everything. In my closet, it's gonna go with absolutely everything. Um, again, worn on its own with whatever bottom, skirts, jeans, pants, shorts, what have you. Uh, but also this is a perfect layering piece under cardigans, sweaters, blazers. I think you can totally dress this up, dress this down, wear this with a red lip, stunning. I just saw this and thought, oh, that is the perfect basic to add into your spring summer wardrobe. A little tube top with a fun twist with this fun stripe pattern. Thought that was so cute. And I also love the shape actually. It's not just the straight across, which sometimes isn't the most flattering on me. I like that it has the little dip on it. So that was a very exciting find for spring. Moving on to skirts, maxi skirts, my current favorite fashion topic to discuss. Uh, if you guys remember, Helsa, Helsa Studio had come out with this gorgeous like ivory cream long cargo skirt. And I don't remember how much it was, but it was very, very expensive. And I was like, I'm sure I can find something that is not that expensive, especially in a lighter color. I wanted to find an option to add to my spring summer wardrobe. Ended up finding this beautiful denim long maxi skirt from Zara at a much more affordable price point and it's also just one of those pieces that won't die in your wardrobe. Like you can have this forever. I love that it has the long slit on the back, which just makes walking a lot easier and you just can't go wrong with this neutral shade. Obviously it will go with everything in your closet, uh, but I thought this was a really fun way to really spice up the staples in my spring summer closet. And what I like specifically about the denim skirts, and I'm so happy that so many brands are doing the denim maxi skirt, is for summer specifically, if you are sweaty like me and you really, really struggle with that swass, <laughs> That swassy swass, you know what I'm talking about, especially with skirts when you're sitting. Like if you are on a patio in the spring or the summer in the warmer weather and you stand up, there's always that fear. There's that dreaded fear that washes through your body like a death wave of, am I going to be standing up with a giant puddle on my butt? So having maxi skirts in a denim material, a denim fabric just kind of eradicates that stress. Know that you can be free with your swass in skirts like this. <laughs> TMI, but you guys know it's a real it's a real thing. It's a real problem. So love that I found this one at Zara. 
Now I also did pick up a denim maxi skirt in blue and this one was actually a little bit harder to find. I was very particular with the wash that I wanted. There's a lot of ones that are darker. There's a lot of lighter ones. There's some with like the extra fringing and extra distressedness. And I, I wasn't really vibing with that. I just kind of wanted a good classic plain one and found this one from Mango just perfectly in the middle is the in-between nice medium wash here. And it's also got the slit on the front, which is very nice. I like that it's kind of a little mix up. The Zara one has the slit on the back. This one has the slit on the front. But for me, the slit is necessary because otherwise it's so hard to walk. You are so limited with your stride, you know? So having a slit just makes it a lot more comfortable and wearable for walking around. And this one just has some really nice plain pockets. Perfect. Such a fun new staple in the closet. And like I said, the, the maxi skirt, I guess this is technically a midi skirt, but just those longer length skirts, I am just loving so much. And they have become such staples in my closet. And this, yeah, this one from Mango was fab. I didn't wanna blab about this too much on YouTube because I actually did just do a like reviewing brands that have been stalking me video on TikTok. And I did a whole video on Dish and I made a huge order. I did a whole haul on TikTok. If you wanna watch that, I will link it below. Uh, a few of those pieces are like very much like vacation and event specific, but but as far as like adding staples into my spring summer wardrobe, I did want to mention this lovely little white linen set. I don't know why I'm holding this on the hanger. I'm sorry. Let me just start with the pants. Anyway, these are fabulous. The quality of the dish linen, it's so thick. It's beautiful. And it's also double lined. Like it has an inner liner here, which helps with it not being completely see-through because so many pairs of white linen pants are essentially transparent. Like you can see everything beneath, even if you're wearing like a skin colored pair of underwear, like you can still see every line and flippity lippity, okay? <laughs> so I do love that they're actually double lined, which makes these just really high quality in my opinion. And these are much more loose, much more flowy, perfect for the spring and summer and a lot of uh, trips that I have coming up. So again, because it's linen, it does stay very, very wrinkly. And I was actually steaming these and a lot of the original like folds from the packing were just like impossible. And I don't have an iron, but I feel like that's what this needs. Otherwise we just have to embrace the wrinkle of the linen, but uh, yeah, really beautiful quality. The duties, the import fees for dish are really, really bad. It was like, I think it was like 33% on my order total. So that was a freaking bite, man. That is the one downside. If you live in a country that charges you import fees, just be warned, be warned. It was hefty. And then I actually did end up buying the matching vest, which I'm just loving, loving the vest moment. I love that this was white. Again, it's a really hard thing to find. A lot of these are very much off-white, creamy colors. So finding one that was white was very, very nice. I think for longevity and also like quality of the look of something like this, I would have loved to have this in wool just as like a year round staple. But again, for spring and summer, having that breezy linen is so nice. Uh, I did get this one in a size US six, but I would have actually wished that I had ordered that in a four because it was quite gapey on the armpits here, like this area. <laughs> you guys know I love an oversized fit. I do not shy away from oversized baggy clothing, okay? But this one was a little bit wide just in comparison to the uh, two other vests that I have in black and gray. Um, yeah, I would have preferred the smaller fit. So if you guys were looking to pick this up, just know that the tops specifically from Dish, in my experience as someone with no boobs, they do fit a little bit bigger. So yeah, but otherwise the quality is stunning and she will definitely get a lot of wear from me this coming spring and summer. So those are all of the new in clothing bits. I wanted to finish off with shoes. I have three new pairs of shoes to show you here and I'm really, really excited about these. Obviously they're all neutral, naturally, but this is actually a style that I don't think I would have typically gone for in the past, but specifically when it comes to warmer weather dressing and like these long maxi skirts, I kind of just struggled with the shoes. Like obviously I have my sneakers or I have flip flops. You can wear heels, but I just wanted something that was dressier, but still comfortable for strolling around in and the warm weather. I don't necessarily want to have to wear like high heels and when I'm going on trips or events or I'm going to more hot weather places and I just wanna look a little bit extra cute for brunch. I don't know, I just wanted an option like this and I found one and I was so happy about it. These are a pair of suede mules that I got from H&M. First of all, perfect color. It's that kind of like cool toned creamy beige. 
and it's just that perfect little mid heel, nice thick platform that just makes it so comfortable for walking in. And I thought, is this not the perfect spring summer shoe? It's like, I can still be comfortable, still be casual, but it's that extra level of elevated chicness added to the outfits. And obviously with all of my screaming neutrals in the clothing department, this is obviously just gonna go with everything. So I thought those were so cute. What a fun little find. It's giving 90s baby, okay? and I am happy to be rediscovering the mule life and I thought this little suede touch was very nice and uh, yeah really loved this find from H&M. I need to remind you guys of my love for these shoes right here okay these are a pair of House of Harlow heels from Revolve and since I got them I have worn them non-stop they've been a constant staple especially in my warmer weather wardrobe I uh, love these so much I put little grips on them they're disgusting they're literally like there's holes there's holes of mud and dirt in these they are so worn they need some really intense TLC actually anyway love these so much so might I say that I gasped when I saw this lovely little dude from Mango. While I was shopping for the skirt, I saw these on the website. I was like, oh my God, that is perfect. The perfect color. And it is a complete total like style dupe of those House of Harlow heels, except it's an even shorter heel, which makes it so much more comfortable for casual strolling, walking around. And I didn't really have a pair of shoes, like this color, this lovely neutral, this lighter brown, I think just finishes everything off. This is just, yeah, lovely, lovely shoe. Wanted to mention that they actually also have these on Zara too. I saw a black pair. Do they have white too? Yeah, anyway, this style of heels is definitely kicking around, but I love that it had the shorter heel, makes it much more wearable and added in this perfect neutral shade to the heels lineup. And lastly, my friends, I did actually pick up a new pair of sneakers and I hate to say that I did fall victim to this trend, but it's a trend that I'm happily diving into and I do plan on somehow finding myself the pair of white and gray suede uh, versions of these because I, I have been seeing all the Instagram girlies posting in these and you can consider me convinced and I did actually, uh, well, Dan, come on, he actually found me this pair. And I did in fact get myself a pair of Adidas Sambas. These are the black and white with the lovely little brown gum sole and I am in love. And the reason being, listen, I have my black Converse with the white sole. Converse for Swift wear is very annoying for me, especially the high top. Like I don't <laughs> enjoy doing and undoing laces. And I know that might sound so annoying to some of you for me to say that, but it's true. I just love a good slip on shoe. I have my common project white ones. I have my veggies, my veyas, and I can just slip them on and they're so easy. I did find a big gap in my sneaker color department. Like those two pairs are white and I just wanted a dark pair to kind of complete uh, what I needed. So this is that perfect pair. We kind of have a mix of all the neutrals. You know, you got the brown, you got the white, you got the black. It'll just go with everything. And I like that these are nice and flat. I can stroll around, do whatever, and I don't have to lace them up. <laughs> I can slip them on and off. It just makes it so comfortable and easy. And uh, I feel like it's kind of what I wanted my dream black loafers to be, but I still have yet to find a perfect pair of black loafers. So this is filling that void for me. And I love them. And I thank Dan so much for finding these for me because they are like such a trending piece right now. It's like the new New Balance 550s, right? But I don't care. I don't care, call me a basic O, oh, I love them. And I do hope that I can find the uh, the gray suede version too because they are stunning and they're very comfortable and I'm obsessed. <laughs> These were literally just dropped at the door while I was filming this video. I didn't think that they were gonna make it in time, but just adding in a bonus because I had actually ordered these alone from H&M because I am headed on to a trip and these are perfect. Oh my God, oh my God. And they're real leather. And look at these stunning. Do you call these espadrilles? What's the official name of such things? Anyway, this is the perfect marriage between like the strappy Bottega leather stunning sandals and a perfect little breezy summery heel. I love these, sorry. I know this is a later edition, but I just wanted to mention these just arrived and they are perfection. This might be the first uh, spring clothing haul that I've done in the history of my YouTube channel where there has been absolutely zero color, none. We did not add any new fun pops of color for spring, but that's okay, I'm not mad about it. I am happy with these lovely new and staples. I hope you guys enjoyed my picks and I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you are loving for spring. And if there are any clothing specific videos that you wanna see from me, please do let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. And I'll see you all very, very soon for a new video. Bye.